Hello and welcome to another edition of the Stogie Review Video Review. Here you are once again uh, on a very lazy Sunday. It's just you never have one of them days. You just don't feel like doing anything. I'm having that day. Just kind of walking around in the house with my old ratty Ozfest t-shirt, pair of blue jeans. Have no intentions on doing anything but smoking the cigar. <laughs> just one of them days. And uh, today we got uh, an Onyx Reserve Mini Bellicoso. And to uh, to keep with the trend of lazy day, I didn't do any prep work, so I'm just gonna grab all my information right out of this handy little book. All right, it's made in the Dominican Republic with a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, and it's got a three-country filler from the Dominican Republic, Nicaragua, and Peru. That's it. This is a mini bellicoso, like I mentioned. It's a uh, 52 by 5 torpedo shape. Let's see if I can give you a better look at the wrapper. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, it's kind of multicolored. It's got a lot of dark and light spots. It almost looks pimply with uh, oily spots. You know, kind of nice. Uh, got a rough texture to it. Mm. It's kind of about an average feel. You know, it's not spongy. It's not real tight. No, about average. Nice, nice rich tobacco smell, though. And, uh, that's about it. Nothing special. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut. And, uh, just gonna move right along. Still getting used to this torch. It runs a little hot as compared to my other lighters. But lately it's been doing a pretty good job and I haven't had to fill it yet so it's not going through a ton of butane. Still not lit. tough part about lighting on camera is that you're getting a better view of the end than I am. I really can't manipulate it and see and try to look at the camera at the same time. I'm not getting a whole lot of smoke. It's got a, you know, those average uh, Maduro flavors. It, you know, that, that Connecticut tobacco really comes through. You can really taste the uh, Connecticut Broadleaf uh, Maduro wrapper. Oh, light, you know, low volumes of smoke. Uh, resting smoke's not that bad. Uh, Finish is uh, semi-dry semi and. Uh, fairly short and light on the palate. So uh, I'm going to get into this a little bit more, see if I can get a little more smoke out of this, and uh, you know we'll, comp we'll continue then. Well, here we are again. You see we're a little bit further along. Uh, the ash is it's kind of like uh, salt and pepper almost. It's It's got some some dark specks, to, but it's it's mostly light colored. I'm really not getting much in terms of volume of smoke, but uh, the flavor's not bad. It's, uh, it's still got that heavy Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro flavor, uh, that that base flavor, and then uh, you've got like a mild nutty flavor in there too. And uh, <clears throat> you know it's, it's not too bad, um, <clears throat> but it's not really delivering enough. At least not for me right now. Uh, the body's uh, about medium. Uh, finish is still slightly dry, still so, still fairly short on the palate. You know, at this point, it's uh, it's about average. Uh, you know, it, 
I wouldn't chalk it up any higher than that. At least not right now. Still, I'm, I'm kind of kind of surprised at how mild it is, how much milder than I than I would have thought. Even the other few that I've had were the same way, and uh, it's just kind of surprising. You know, it's still that ter st uh, stereotypical kind of thing where you look at a dark cigar and you think, "Oh, well, you know, it's going to be a little on the strong side," but you know, it's really not. It's still fairly mild. You know, nice strong ash. Couldn't get it to drop. The draw is not bad either. Um, you know, it's got a little bit of resistance. It's just not, you know, delivering the smoke that I would like. Anyway, nah, let's get away from that for a minute and uh, let's talk about what else I've been smoking. It's uh, something that uh, <clears throat> people have been mentioning. They want, they want Jerry and I to ro kind of rotate into the videos and, and get Brian to rotate him into his uh, his written reviews. So, uh, uh, as you know, yesterday. Today is Sunday, so yesterday was Saturday. Uh, I recorded the uh, Q&A segment with Jerry. Uh, the only cigar I smoked that entire day was uh, that Arturo Fuente, Chateau Fuente, natural in the morning. Uh, I had some stuff to do. I was out hiking a little bit in the afternoon, and uh, out on rocks, out in uh, out in the water. I didn't want to drag a cigar along. I uh, I took it. I had I had. Uh, I took a camera with me, so I didn't want to be fumbling around with a camera and a cigar at the same time. Uh, Friday, I had a, a TNT Cigars alternative to uh, Padron Anniversary Series. And uh, I was surprised. That was pretty good. Uh, for uh, an unbanded, bundled cigar, uh, you know, the, the alternative name kind of, it, it's hazed a little bit. You know, a lot of people kind of look down on them a little bit because of... Uh, you know, like the the lower quality alternative that, that'll run you like twenty bucks, and uh, and claim to be just as good as the original. In this case, they were like forty bucks. While they were no uh, Padron anniversary, they were a very good alternative to uh, the Padron Thousand series. I was actually kind of surprised. Uh, after that, later in the evening, I had a Hoya de Nicaragua celebration. Uh, I started smoking those just because uh, how well uh, Jerry's review went, and how much he was talking about them. A couple of weeks back, might even be a couple of months by now. Mm. And that's about it. Really, haven't had a whole lot. Oh, I had a, an Onyx Reserve early in the week, so it's been uh, about a week, maybe a little over a week since I've had one. I guess it wasn't early this week; it was late last week. But anyway, that's all I've been smoking. Haven't hasn't been a really busy cigar week for me uh, in between reviews, so. Not not a whole lot to, to talk about there. You know, still no change on the cigar, so uh, I'm just going to kick back, continue with my laziness today, and, uh, you know, get about halfway, and then uh, we'll be back to touch base about how the cigar's going. Here we are again. Sam getting down about time to, to lay this down for good. Before I get into too much about the cigar, I can't believe I forgot something. Um, when I mentioned the cigars I smoked last week, uh, I'm wearing a, a punch hat, and uh, just I caught, I just happened to see it in the LCD screen of the camcorder, and realized that Hey, on Wednesday I was at a punch event, and uh, it was actually a lot of fun. It was down at uh, JM Cigars, at that uh, cigar shop that I like to go to. Uh, it was a punch ambassador event. Um, as soon as you walk through the door, they give you a free cigar, uh, discounted prices on boxes, and you know overall it was just a it was a good time. And when I first got there, uh, I was I got there about 15 minutes after it started, and uh, they were kind of slow. But by the time I was about I don't know, about an inch and a half into my uh, Punch Magnum. Or no, 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 I had a, a Punch Grand Puro. 
the place was just packed, you know, thick cloud of smoke. Just, just a good time. Uh, about an hour and a half later, I, I headed out, and uh, that was about it. Uh, I got the hat because I bought a box of uh, the Punch Magnum, uh, the EMS, and uh, I'm really looking forward to smoking them. They're one of the, they're one of the the, the Punch cigars that I really enjoy. Uh, actually, I, I like quite a few of them, but uh, they're they're higher up there on the on that scale. Well, I think we're going to do a wrap-up all together. Uh, no more. No last segment. Just because I'm eating up time on the tape, I was trying to, to cram it into what I had left from that Q&A segment. That went really long. And uh, it kind of compressed my time a little bit. But anyway, that uh, that mild, nutty flavor I had mentioned before, that turned into uh, like a, a coffee-like flavor shortly after I turned the camera off. And... Uh, you know that was that stuck around for a little bit, and then it, it changed to like a, a woody flavor, and now it's gone from a from a woody flavor to a, a sort of metallic flavor. It's really starting to irritate the back of my throat. The uh, the body picked up a bit. It's uh, it was medium to full before, or it was medium before. Now it's more medium to full, leaning more to the full side. Uh, the volume of smoke is starting to pick up a little bit, but it feels like the cigars getting a little hot when that happens but you know it's starting to get short so you know you can't have one without the other I guess that uh, slightly dry finish I was having before that went away um, it, it's fairly creamy now you know it's it's wrapping up better than I had expected without um, well, anyway, it, it's it's just it's wrapping up better than I would have expected, even from uh, from past experiences with this cigar. It's turning out a little bit better. Um, it's just that harshness that uh, that seems to uh, be common with all the the onyx reserves that I've smoked so far. Um, overall, just to wrap things up, I still think it's an average cigar. I don't think it's anything spectacular. Um, I think I paid about three fifty for that. Uh, the price isn't all that bad, but you know I don't think I would go out seeking one. Um, if someone offered me one, or I found one buried at the bottom of your humidor, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't have a problem smoking it. Um, I just I wouldn't go out seeking seeking one. It's just not, it's just not performing up to to what I would like. But uh, but it's not bad. It, it you know, like I keep saying, it's just average and nothing more nothing less at least that's that's my perception of the cigar well I think that's going to do it for me so uh, as always I really appreciate you guys watching uh, keep the questions and comments coming in and uh, I'll see you around next time thanks for watching guys